no, 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 no. Here's my newest red toy. It's the Milwaukee trim router. It's cordless, it runs on the M18 batteries. And I had seen this, but I put off buying it because I've got a pretty nice little Bosch corded one. But today's the day, so I'm just unpacking it. Comes with some sort of guide. It has the usual paperwork and a few other small parts included in these bags. I'll open it up and take a look. Feels really heavy. Feels really well made. Batteries go on there. There's the business end. It also comes with a larger plate that you can unbolt the small one and put that one on. It has a really nice slide mechanism. Very smooth when it slides and you just push that button. There's a little detent there and it is very easy to read. Very fine adjustment and very easy to slide it up and down and lock it in place. So this is the guide. I really didn't understand what this was for at first or how it went on but it becomes really clear. It just bolts into the side there and it's kind of like a, a fence for a saw. So you can freehand it and use this as a guide instead of using a router table essentially instead of relying always on that little bearing on the end of your bit certain bits that's not going to be applicable and it's got adjustment on it there and so I didn't think I'd ever get to use this but I was proven wrong later that day actually and that's how that slide attaches on to the side of the router base Another thing I really like about a lot of Milwaukee tools is their dust collection. And this one's no exception. There's a molded clear plate that screws on and it shoots the dust out the one side. And if you want to attach a vacuum hose onto there, it would be very easy to do so. So I really like the idea of that. So I'm going to try a 5.0 battery in it. It's full of juice and ready to go. Not too heavy, but still powerful enough to go through this. And I tried this round off bit on a scrap piece and it worked well. But as soon as I put it into my work piece, I realized something was wrong. Tried it again just because I'm stubborn. And then I stopped to look at what was actually going on here. Um, it takes it off the top just fine on the scrap piece. But because I've undercut this particular piece of plywood, that bit doesn't want to work properly, it wants to gouge into the piece too much. So I actually got to use this this little jig or this fence the first time I used it. I lined it up flat so it catches the edge of that piece and so it doesn't rely on the bearing because in this case there's no material for that bearing to ride on. But I just eyeballed it all and tried it out and it works really good. Slide it along the edge and I'm able to get that perfect round off that I needed. And the dust all goes out the side there. If I was inside the shop, I could hook up the vacuum. <clears throat> and that does a pretty good job. I didn't completely ruin this piece. I can put some filler in there. And going across the edge. It's very easy to use, one-handed. But it's got enough power to rip through this. And it's pretty much perfect for applications like this. So I really like this, and I'm really glad I got this. Like I said, I put it off for quite a while, but it's in my toolbox now, and I'll, I'll use this thing a lot. I'm also curious to see what the runtime on the batteries will be. If this 5 amp will last doing stuff like this, or if I can just throw a small one in to do some quick stuff, or what's it going to be like using a, you know the 12 amp or 9 amp for bigger stuff, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. 